Okay, uh, now for our third speaker is Charlie Sue. Um, you know, I got words to say about him, but I, but I will just stop looking at the paper and just tell you, Charlie's been a great partner. Um, uh, he and his team have uh, participated heavily uh, in helping make Risk Five successful. Uh, when we need, you know, help, they're there. Uh, you know, they're on the the, um, the technical steering committee, and they've helped you know, drive a, a bunch of uh, standards, and uh, we're very grateful for Andy's and for Charlie's uh, support. So welcome, Charlie. Thank you. So this next. <coughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, it's good to be here again. I was here in uh, 2018 during the RISC-V uh, workshop here. And uh, what a difference five years made. Now RISC V is firing on all cylinders. So in this talk, I'll give a couple examples of the recently disclosed RISC V application by our customer, and also I'll give an update on our uh, new call and uh, talk about some uh, subject. <coughs> so uh, first, uh, some quick up, uh, information on Andy's technology. Uh, we are the uh, founding and premium member uh, since 2016. We are very active uh, in the risk fire community. And uh, we are 18 years old, uh, actually over 18 years old, pure play CPU IP vendor. We have a lot of customers, and our customer, uh, and our custom customer using our different tool, Andy side. And uh, up to today, we have over uh, 12 billion uh, SOC shipped by our customers. Um, this is just a quick slide over uh, page over uh, what uh, we have um, in the product lineup. So we have a full line of uh, RISC-V processor from the Compact series, uh, two stage, three stage, and to five stage core, to eight stage core, and now we also have 13 stage out of order processor. And together, uh, <laughs> the cover application for embedded control and to uh, DSP vector computing and to uh, Linux application processing. And recently, we also introduced our FUSA functional safety product lines. So uh, Antis risc has been powering the risc application everywhere. <coughs> so our customer application appeared on mobile, a deeply embedded uh, peripheral, to a general purpose MCU, MPU, and AIoT, and then to a many core application uh, using storage and networking. And we also got <coughs> get uh, kind of pulling into the AI uh, data center, uh, where um, our customer using our industry leading vector processor, NX27V, and also X45 MPV, uh, 10, 24 bits vector processor, and other co other core. And uh, we also has a uh, application used by customer in the uh, low orbit satellite. So I'm uh, going to talk a little bit about uh, the new stuff. This one, probably most people see it before. So first, AIoT. <coughs> uh, so Renesis voice uh, control application specific uh, solution using NDIS D25F, which is DSP capable, and uh, using that to kind of speed up application uh, about 50% overall. And Renesis uh, leverage NDIS uh, tightly, tightly uh, co-work partner uh, like um, uh, Cyberon, uh, Opstar, and Sega to cover the voice uh, recognition technology, uh, system integration, and also development tool. Another chip uh, done by Renes is uh, RZ5 uh, using uh, NDIS 45 MPV. Uh, it, that chip has been adapted by uh, ASUS IoT division for uh, uh, Tinker5 uh, single board computer. It supports uh, Debian and Yocto uh, Digital and with a rich uh, connectivity um, features and the idea for uh, industry IoT and gateway application. And PicoCam is a UK and China company. Uh, so they have a, a 5G small cell SOC uh, for open RAN. It's using uh, 32 um, instance of N25F uh, organized in the cluster and also uh, A27 for the Linux core. And which uh, help them to achieve low power and uh, flexible embedded control for like task scheduling and memory management and uh, assist uh, computation for digital front end and also um, uh, digital pre -torsion. 
and also support a future-proof uh, protocol interface upgrade. And uh, the uh, cluster core running uh, Zephyr Atos, and they also have uh, core running Linux for the more rich application. Right, uh, computing memory. So uh, Homo H30 has a uh, CIM SOC uh, built around the uh, SRAM based uh, uh, macro, which uh, uh, produce uh, a metric multiplication based on int8 and uh, a bunch of uh, less macro construct a, a tensor uh, um, engine, and that uh, together with uh, our NX27V vector processor, the spatial function unit, and also shear SRAM and form a, form a tire. And <coughs> multiple tire and form an IPU and then an SOC. Uh, so um, the um, enable uh, the rich uh, feature uh, provided by NX27V is that uh, first, certainly, uh, we offer the very powerful RVB uh, instruction implementation. And also, and this custom extension allow a customer to add in the, the new instruction to uh, assist the uh, computation. And also, uh, our streaming pool is a very powerful mechanism to um, uh, enable commu efficient communication between the programming engine and their uh, hardware engine, so that they can have control and the data exchange uh, very efficiently. OK, and the RISPR is also driving innovation on the road. Uh, and this, uh, in Andis Park, we are the first one to uh, uh, release um, industry first RISC 5 ISO 262 fully uh, compliance core uh, N25F SE. So they, this is the uh, certificate from the HGS. And it's already used by uh, a fire application from a display and touch, where we get multiple customers, and uh, automotive MCU and auto automotive and digital video uh, camcorder, and uh, in cabin radar, and also CMOS sensor. And some of them already, the customer already get a test chip and get uh, certified uh, by um, the HGS. So we couldn't be here um, without a, a partner for compiler and development tool, and also Atos and Autosa. So this is just a starting point for this roadmap. So we are working on the uh, DSP version of the N25F-SE coming out uh, in two quarter, And also, uh, those two are core CLB level, which is a very simple application, and not the sexiest one. But we also have a CLD level uh, coming up on the A-stage pipeline core, and also an entry-level core uh, with a CLD tool for this high uh, safety requirement application. OK, uh, so the previous, uh, we talked about the existing core and already using my customer, uh, and the customer want to come out to kind of talk about their application. So this X65 is our renew, uh, introduced core. It's our first out of order application processor. Uh, starting stage, uh, four-way uh, superscalar. Uh, right now, we're targeting uh, um, RVA22 profile. There's a bunch of other features uh, they want to uh, talk about uh, right now. But uh, so um, since we uh, released it first, uh, we uh, fixed a couple of performance bugs and kind of boost uh, uh, now the frequency. It can go up to 2.4 gigahertz, 7 nanometer, without overdrive. And uh, it get to a uh, spec in 2006. Uh, it, which is uh, 8.25 per gigahertz, and spec FP 2006 is uh, 10.2 per gigahertz. I think this might be the industry's best spec, um, the 2006 number with only two level cache. Okay. So we are adding uh, uh, our roadmap. Uh, the next one will be X67 with further performance enhancement, and the uh, profile target will be RVA23 and per perhaps a 24, depending on where the, uh, the um, ratification uh, step and also our development. OK, and the other one new call um, we had, we re reviewed last December is X45 MPV. It's a 1024-bit vector processor, uh, dual issue, and implement certainly the latest RISC-V uh, standard. And it has rich data format and uh, highly configurable uh, VLAN and DLAN combination from 128 to uh, 10 to 24 bits. And uh, 
We say it's a powerful implementation. It can uh, deliver up to six DLAN results per cycle per call. Oh, by the way, this is a, a multi-core a cluster can go up to eight core. <coughs> and one of these main targets is kind of going to data center uh, air acceleration. So it, uh, uh, the requirement for this uh, tightly coupling with hardware engine, like uh, we showed earlier, is that efficient data exchange and also efficient control with the hardware engine. So we already have a, a streaming port and go through and this custom extension for custom to adding instruction and to customize the interfaces. But we also introduce a simple interface, which we call HVM, uh, high speed vector memory with uh, interfaces on the core side and also the HVM module externally, which we had do multi-band control. Uh, and it's uh, kind of more fitting, uh, better kind of traditional thinking of uh, accelerator but uh, um, it's simple, but it probably can re uh, deliver most of the feature uh, custom used today. And you can have your own DM engine and uh, hardware engine direct to access to HVM. Right, uh, since we're talking about uh, uh, data center and acceleration, so there's a, a quite a lot of uh, interest on metric multiplication um, extension to bring that into the RISC-V to replace external hardware. Uh, so um, we just kind of started coming to this, and uh, we noticed that uh, T head has very good uh, analysis on this. Uh, there are some uh, common goal there. Um, first is uh, high uh, compute to um, memory ratio, which is leading to a uh, high uh, MAC utilization. Put it off. OK. <coughs> you can see that. And also, uh, the register, either uh, using the existing RVV register or create a new vector register, and also scalability in programming. But there are a couple less addressed issue. One is that if you want to introduce a metric register, um, then uh, more usage for large vector register probably can be considered at the same time. And uh, when you, you problem in that kind of multiple of the, uh, your, your hardware array, uh, the boundary case handling is very important because that's going to introduce your overhead to kind of kill your uh, acceleration. And the last one is uh, kind of more from IP's perspective. So uh, we're looking for a solution which can enable both uh, inner product or outer product based uh, computation sequence uh, without kind of determining it very early stage. That means instead of you decide that at IP stage, we can defer that to when you deny the IC or SOC stage. OK. Um, last but not least, risk five continue to rise again uh, rapidly. Um, so you probably see RISE uh, from early talk. Uh, RISE is the risc software ecosystem uh, project on the uh, leading foundation in uh, Europe uh, it, it to accelerate the development of the risc open uh, software, uh, open source software. So it did that by industry leader, and Andy is very proud to be part of it. Uh, I think initial focus is basically on the uh, like compiler and language system, uh, simulator, Linux, virtual machine, uh, Linux digital, and so on. So um, a pre come to uh, this uh, uh, RISE project that dev, where you can find more information. And welcome to come forward to join us to uh, uh, make RISC-V software uh, kind of more complete. So with that, I conclude my talk. Thank you.